This is a cracking little boat. She's called Scallywag. She's a 44-foot cruiser built by East West Marine in 2011. She just come up to us from, from Stratford, um, Hill Farm Marina, and she's a really, really lovely boat. Paintwork's in reasonable condition. She was last blacked in 2022, last year. She actually had a survey in 2019, but we don't have a copy of it. It's been mislaid, so it's not really any use to anybody to even say that, really, but there we go. The engine was serviced in 2021, but September, but uh, she hasn't really done a lot since. Really good sized cruiser stern, seven and a half feet long, loads of solar power, 645 watts, super wide side hatch there, which the current owner had put in. And there used to be a window here, actually, just this side of the side hatch, but that's been filled in now, and you'll see what's on the other side when we go in. Gas bottles, two of them in the forward locker there, and the well deck, three foot six inches long, bench seats either side. This steel cabinet is the diesel tank for the lock gate stove. Very good condition, the cratch cover over here, by the way. Nice glazed forward doors. And in we go. Those of you familiar with East West will know the fit out. They're really lovely. It's all water, bamboo. Head height on the boat is six foot three. There's a bench seat here that does convert into a double bed, spare double berth. So actually, for a 44 foot boat, you, you can sleep four, which is pretty good. Right. Billy's, <laughs> Billy's trying to open these drawers. And we've since worked out they're not drawers. It's part of the um, mechanics to set the bed up. There we go. But the carpet's in the way, to, so it's hard to pull out, basically, with one hand. This, again, we assume the storage in there, but struggling to open. And there's a diesel lockgate stove. That's a 42-inch telly. That's where a window used to be, but that's been filled in with a telly and this super wide side hatch here has been added lovely dinette area the television by the way is a samsung smart tv storage under the dinette benches that's a bit sticky that one but they do open and this doesn't convert to a double berth it's only five foot long the dinette but it's very lovely space to sit and work or have your meals or Play cards or whatever. Spit cherry stones at each other across the table. Nice cupboard there in between the dinette and the kitchen. The granite worktops in here. Cooking is a Spinflow Country Ledger Series full burner gas hob, a MIDI Prima Mark III oven and grill. Cupboard above it. And a quick look in there, all nice and clean. The stainless steel sink with a draining board on the right hand side there and storage underneath. And the fridge itself, it's a fridge master 12 volt with an ice box. So everything you need in the kitchen here really. I haven't mentioned the radiators, you can just see them on the right hand side of the screen there, they're nicely encased. Little shelving units and drawers under the side hatch here. I didn't measure the side hatch but I'm guessing it's about four foot long. Three and a half, four feet long. Down the corridor to the bathroom. It's sort of wet room arrangement in here, really. There's a slatted floor there for the shower area with a curtain round it. The loo itself is a macerator pump out, 200 litre holding tank, and there's a ceramic countertop sink there on that granite top. Really lovely finish, these boats in the bamboo. I like them anyway, you might not. Towel rail outside the bathroom there. These doors close off, by the way, so that the bathroom's bigger and you're, you're private in there. And then the bedroom. Bedroom itself, six foot three inches long. The bed is six foot three by four feet. Reading lights over. Cupboards above the head end. There we go. And, sh and cupboards at the foot end as well. Well, hey, he opened one. Drawers under. There's also uh, under these steps here as well. So actually, for both of these proportions, I think there's quite a lot of storage. Beds for two, or two double berths. 
there's the solar controller and then there's the inverter it's a Victron 1600 watt inverter charger that gives you 230 volts along with your landline if you're plugged in huge cruiser stern deck this covers in very good condition as well actually don't know if you notice the neatly arranged windlasses and things down there oh top of the screen the engines in here it's a barrel shank 35 nice and clean and tidy batteries there's a bank of 350 amp power domestic batteries and one starter battery the uh, Engine's only got 638 hours on it, actually, that's worth mentioning. Central heating on board is Webasto Thermo Top C, 5 kilowatt diesel heater, connected to the four radiators. And hot water on board is heated by the engine or the Webasto. Two alternators, 40 amps and 100 amps. And all the lighting on board is LED. She comes with a myriad of navigation equipment everything you need to cast off and there we go really really lovely little boat for further photographs fully downloadable colour brochure and the price go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk